Dog trainer Graham Hall spends his life coming to the rescue of desperate dog owners. Today, he's helping Danny with her French Bulldog's larger-than-life libido. Humping is actually quite common at this age for lots of puppies, and it's usually driven by, you know, let's say teenage hormones, but it can be triggered by stress or it could be just plain attention-seeking. But the way to resolve humping, more often than not, is about changing the way owners react to it. It is funny, and I'm really struggling to keep a straight face, but keeping a straight face is the way forward here. To start with, I'm, I'm going to be working on your body language because while he's being naughty, you're not allowed to smile or laugh. That's what I do. So it would... Well, I get that, but you're going to have to change your way of doing it, otherwise we'll never fix this. What I've not seen you doing at all is, is any sort of discipline. But you need to know the right method because I don't want him to be scared to death, but I do need him to look at you and think, yeah, right, she means it. So I'll show you how to do that. Yeah. To get Paco to give humping the heave ho, Graham starts with the mop. So, here's that um, particularly attractive mop. Now, at the moment, I'm holding it up out of the way so he's not doing anything about it, but I think if I just sort of put it there and moved it about, yeah, straight away, even with me, look, no different. <laughs> Off he goes, you know? Now, let me have my mop back. Come here, you. <laughs> what I'm going to do is put it down. If he goes for it, I'm going to step between me and him. I'm going to use a new command, off, yeah? And the face that goes with it is very much the naughty. So I'm putting it down in position. If he goes for it, ah, off. Good boy. I'm saying good boy because he's doing nothing. Yeah. So the signal's really clear. If he goes for it, ah, off. <laughs> no, it says oh. Yeah, so if he goes for it now, ah, off. Good boy. Having stifled Paco's passion, Graham's upping the ante. Now he wants Danny to tackle his hairdryer humping. Ah. You could lower that into position, and when he goes for it, you need to swing your leg round. Off. And again. Off. And now. Good boy. That's it. Even with temptation staring him in the face, Paco resists the urge to make his signature move. Good boy. He's a clever boy. His reward is a well-earned tummy tickle from Mum. That's like a new dog. Good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I made up. It's just so nice to have a, a normal dog. That only leaves one thing, really. You know the salon of yours? Yeah. We should go there and really test this, shouldn't we? Yeah, see how he gets on there. This is Gail. Nice to meet you. Hi. All right. To dampen his desires, Graham's brought along a distraction. Paco needs to learn while a little ball play is allowed, humping in the hair salon is a definite no-no. I don't want to tease him too much, but while I'm here, why yeah. don't you really show him that hair and see what he does? Do you know what? I think we fixed the problem. Because he's looking at it yeah, now. Yeah, he's not interested now, is he? No, he isn't. Look at his line there. No. <laughs> yeah. What do you make of that? It's good because normally when he comes near, this is where he's most naughty. Yeah. She has to pump everything. You don't know how lucky you are. Yeah. <laughs>